duties the beginning of the end. A dormant herald of the collapse stirs in its lunar tomb. Where once we banished the nightmares, a new terror rouses them from their slumber. Callus. The Emperor of the Cabal, betrayed by his own daughter and cast into exile. Now obsessed with a voice calling to him from within the darkness. But we will not cower in fear of nightmares. We will do as Guardians have always done. We will rise to meet the enemy and confront our darkest fears with open eyes. Vanguard Reconnaissance Up Midas is go. Guardian, the exiled Emperor Callus has anchored his ship off the moon. Keitel's fleet is holding a perimeter. Eris Moore, our subject expert and lunar field agent, will oversee your mission. Shortly after the Leviathan's arrival, it emitted a disruptive frequency. We assumed the broadcast was comms interference. But then the pyramid responded. I believe a connection has been made. Your task is to confirm that notion and assess the danger. The House of Callus falls to rot, and his loyalists have abandoned their posts. Ikora has spoken of these fungal growths before, in reference to the derelict Cabal cruiser, Lycon Volatus. This does not bode well. This is not the way. Do you see the phantoms? Strange that they have left the moon. They were generated by the Lunar Pyramid, dredged trauma like scorch marks lifted from a ruin. They are not as quarrelsome as their nightmare counterparts, more lost wanderers meant to dissuade the intrepid. They may try. Press on. Is the entire vessel infested? More phantoms, congregating around something. On the moon, phantoms and nightmares alike were attracted to remnants of light, refracting them into weaponized projections of fear and doubt. Vines fused to spine and skull, stimulating brain activity. An experiential perpetuity, endlessly feeding the egregore. Zavala? Don't let her go. Light there. I have seen your kind before. You seek oblivion. This could be a trap. It's not. Pursue this lead. Nightmares exploit a target's vulnerabilities. They do not make contact at random. But I do not believe this is the Guardian's nightmare. Show your weapons! That Cabal radiates foul energy. Keep from sight! Destroy the Ark Conduit. You've been seen! Move! Come and see. Egregor spores open one's consciousness to darkness, allowing passage through fungal barriers. Agitate the pod and poop yourself, but take care. When you see, you will know what must be done. That door leads to Callus' throne. The helm's instruments detect it is radiating pyramid resonance. She's guiding us to Callus. One of Callus' contraptions. Ah! 
Time to leave. Hold that. I will retrieve you. The Lunar Pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. It manifests our deepest regrets. They wear familiar faces and speak with familiar voices. Remember your last advisor, Zavala. You trust this one's judgment? I can bind these nightmares to us. Grant us safe passage through the ship. Hive magic. You would doom us all. I know. What I'm asking you to confront. Do you? The rules have bent around us. We must also bend. Madness. Your witchcraft plays right into my father's hands. Find someone else for your ritual. Your regrets will follow you, Empress. Let me offer protection. <gasps> my armor is protection enough. I will lead the charge. You need only follow. No matter what happens, do not break the circle. This will anchor our offerings. Now, tithe your weights to the crown. My heart from a time long past. My memory from one life to the next. Song of Sothona, your words are mine to command. Borlog, I am. Eris. Chords plucked in offered throats, spined chorus. Echoes once dissonant, exhumed. Find harmony in binding flesh. It burdens. It burdens. It burdens. Until the choir relents, accepting. Welcome to the Underbelly, Guardians. Your mission is simple, but nonetheless treacherous. Deal our first cut in severing Kallus' connection to the Pyramid. You both have a route to the Severance Site, and ritual amplifiers to place. Crow, as above on the Leviathan, so too nightmares will manifest below. Yours takes the shape of Aldrin Sov. Endure him. Each amplifier grounds our severance in the Leviathan's connection to the darkness. Loyalist welcoming party ahead. Maybe I can find a way around. This is what the Traveler made you for. We're killers. Don't shy away from it. I don't kill unless I have to. Right. You only murder the deserving. Like Keitel's Scion. 
That was a mistake. It was a mistake. Lucky Saladin owned it for us. Just like Mara always used to. takes precedence. Grant you passage. Sounds like we both hit resistance, Guardy. I doubt they had as much trouble as you. I've seen them work. At least I'm not one and done. You take resurrection for granted. Remember how we begged Mara to save us? To make us awoken as we slipped away from existence? Do you ever stop talking? <laughs> Guardian, that's your second amplifier? Good. Crow mimics a stoic affectation well enough. But I can tell his nightmare is wearing away at him. So, Guardian, the Crow wants to be me, or he's afraid he already is? Is there a third option? Mm, languish in your miserable limbo of a life? The scorn will drag you into mine eventually. Those Elixni deserve to rest in peace. What you did to them, I would never. We raised them, gave them a second chance. I thought you were all about second chances. That lifted the lockdown, Guardian. Arc energy is being diverted through a nearby conduit. Where did the scorn come from? I told you. Our prodigal children returning to their father. Can't you hear them calling? Why did you abandon us? <coughs> Ow! You're awfully bitter. Damn right I'm bitter. You had everything. And you set it on fire for her! You rose out of those ashes. A guardian. Noble. Admired. Even by her. I'm ready to finish this. to remember me, little bird. So you could burn Aldrin at the stake and prove your independence. It's the right thing to do. I have to. How many failed attempts to do the right thing before you realize our fervor always backfires? Mara had you wrapped around her finger. Everything I do is because I want to. Sure. Outcome is the same, isn't it? You cut out pieces of yourself until there was nothing left of your humanity. You enjoyed it. That's the difference. Please. 
You'd swallow all those whiny little morals given the right push. You've come so close already. That's why you run. I'm not running. Hmm. We'll see. Our legacy is calling. Father. I'm losing it! You can endure this. why you won't help our sister either after everything Mara's done for us I don't want her help this isn't a knife fight crow accept his words move through them no no I'm going to enjoy ripping him out of me try I'll just burrow back in over and over until I'm all you have. I... Eris, what do I do? Retreat is not weakness. Breathe. We can try again in time. Sorry I let you down. Tell me it's not my fault. Hey, Guardian. I know this is on me. You don't have to feed me any comforting platitudes. I've been running from the truth for long enough. You know... When I first came to the city... I told these little lies... about who I was, or where I came from. Nothing hurtful, just a few stories to keep a comfortable distance from the truth. To fill in the blanks. When I got my memories back, I remembered Aldrin did the same thing. He started little rumors, recounted adventures to an audience, planted gossip in Mara's ear just to watch those stories spread. We're exactly the same. Down to the instincts. It's in my blood. <laughs> I thought I could do this. I thought I could prove to Zavala and Keitel and you and everyone else that I was better than him. But lies... They only get us so far. It appears the situation is far more complex than I first believed. The Leviathan has become an extension of the Lunar Pyramid, channeling feelings of shame and regret into reality. The Pyramid did so as a security system, driving away those who would tamper with it. But what is happening on the Leviathan? This is purposeful. Malicious. As the nightmares on the Leviathan spread, it could threaten Earth and beyond. Callus's bond with the Pyramid endangers all of us. Crow was unprepared to face his own demons when we attempted to sever it. And though I may be able to counsel him through the next confrontation, that will take time. You should return to the Leviathan. Continue harvesting the nightmares and disrupting Callus's plans. We will speak again soon. We need to talk. This isn't... This is not a good time. It's never a good time. I've been trying to talk to you for weeks and you keep dodging me. I can't. It's not... 
Amanda. How long did you know? How long have you known who you were? <sighs> we're done. We are done here. I do not have time for this, for you, for anything. Wait. I was scared. I am scared. People used to kill me, kill me for... for something I didn't... You don't understand! I cared about you, and you lied to me! You wore that mask, you kept secrets from me, pretended to be my friend! Amanda... I am your friend. No. You're not. I had a friend, and you murdered him. There is a misconception among the Vanguard that nightmares are like spirits. That they are who they appear to be. This is untrue. They are forged from the darkness and born of your own subconscious fears, desires, and regrets. They have only as much power as you give them. We project our shame on these nightmares and make them real, but they are not inherently evil. No more than the darkness itself is. The nightmares are a weapon, and a weapon can be turned on its creator. I believe I have found a way to do just that. We approached the last ritual of severance the wrong way, attempting to banish the nightmare of Aldrin Sov. But I should have known. Denial is not the way. Return to the Leviathan, Guardian. Harvest the nightmare essence we need to perform the ritual again. And perhaps this time, acceptance will succeed where rejection has failed. Your mission remains, but a malicious tinge creeps these holes. A tinge? And the amplifiers are down, so... Failing my severance. I made things worse. Are you surprised? The ship was changing before we arrived, Crow. After which, things did not improve. Then let's get to fixing it. The amplifiers appear to be fighting an unknown interference, but they are working. These vines wriggle into everything. Changing it reminds me of adventuring in the Black Garden. Our turning points always seem to come by force. Maybe yours. Yes. You've had an overabundance of choice in your life. Certainly not a lost child ricocheting between authority figures. How's your stewardship of him been, Guardian? This is between you and me. Steady. Listen to your handler. Wouldn't want to jeopardize the mission. Guardian. Went smoother this time. He's picking up on some of my old tricks. Starting to aim like me. Using your tricks against you sounds good to me. A lot of attitude for somebody who broke down crying last time we were here. Will your aim stay steady when the Scorn call you father? If they attack me. If I have to. <laughs> if? And that's the door. Keep up, Aldrin.
It is in your nature to defy, even against your own best interests. It will only hasten your revelation. The Vanguard. <laughs> you were supposed to be heir of the Reef. Talk about a step down. Mara must be furious. The Queen is content that Crow has found his own path. She said that? <laughs> Turning over a new leaf, I suppose. Amplifier established. Crow will reach his second beacon shortly. The interference appears to be echoed by the phantoms that haunt the Leviathan's halls. It is spreading. I can't imagine seeing a stranger with my sibling's face, but finding out that someone isn't who you thought they were? I understand that. Obviously. It's your entire life. I'm a guardian of the city. I'm sure Mara and I will work together at some point. We'll just need some... Realignment. You hearing this, Guardian? One foot back in the reef. Prince Crow doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but we'll get by. Funny. That's the last one. I'm ready when you are, Guardian. Crow, you can do this. You are strong enough. When we first touched down, I wasn't sure. But I trust you. Both of you. I'm ready to finish this. I empathize with your devotion to a cause. But aren't you tired of this little dance? I hadn't found my footing before. This time, I'm ready for you. I told myself a story about who you were. A villain strung together from whispers of the things you'd done. But you're right. I'm scared. I'm scared that our nature might make my friends dangerous to me. Or me to them. We all have parts we wish weren't there. But acknowledging them can make us stronger. I'll always be balancing on the edge of something terrible. But now I have someone to pull me back. Who? You. I can learn from your mistakes. And my triumphs, too. Yeah. You point out the pitfalls, I'll fill them in. We'll right your wrongs together. See you around. Guardian. Eris. I did it. See, you are stronger than your doubts presumed. The Leviathan's connection to the Pyramid phrase. Our gamble is working, Guardians. Second chances. Turns out I've been using mine wrong. I thought being a guardian was my destiny. That wielding the light for good was the most I had to offer. But it's clear now. This is what the Traveler chose me for. 
I was reforged in the light for a purpose. To remake something dead and gone into something beautiful. To learn how to forge something new from what we were. Everything Uldren did to the Reef, the Scorn, Fickrel. I have a responsibility. No. A calling to make them whole. And I can't replace Cade. But I can cover his old patrols. Maybe organize the hunters a bit, if they'll let me. Clean up some of my mess. I don't know if I can fix everything Aldrin left broken. But I can try. I have long said that the darkness can be used as a power for good, even when others doubted. By helping Crow to accept his past as Aldrin Sov, we have changed the inherent nature of a nightmare into something new. A manifestation of healed trauma, a memory of the man Crow once was. The best of him. Aldrin is as much a part of Crow as the darkness is a part of you or me. And there is more to it than pain. In this success, we have discovered the key to our victory. Through our bond, the Crown of Sorrow, we could convert the nightmares into a force against Callus. But the process to convert these psychic constructs will not be an easy one. It is a battle guardians are not accustomed to fighting. I know that shortcoming all too well. Resume your work aboard the Leviathan Guardian and I will prepare for the next severance ritual. Per our arrangement, I am delivering a status report on the Imperial Survey of the Leviathan. Our scouts confirm your reports of psychic anomalies emanating from the Red Phantoms seen throughout the ship. Scion Optai theorized that these phantoms are manifestations forged from a psychic background radiation permeating the Leviathan. Darkness. Navigational equipment shows that the Leviathan entered a gravitational anomaly and it was at once within and outside of the known universe for an indeterminate period of time. When it emerged from this state, most of its crew were missing and an infestation of unknown fungal matter had infiltrated all decks of the ship Command structure appears to have broken down. Loyalists who emerged from the anomaly disembarked from the Leviathan. We are attempting to determine their location. Those currently aboard are newly grown, combat-ready clones that have no higher brain function. They operate as an extension of my father's will. At Valis Forge's suggestion, I have submitted a recommendation for Crow to participate in a joint investigation to supplement our own. It is my hope that together we can tear into the beating heart of the Leviathan and drag my father screaming into the light of your son. Till such a time, we are Cabal, we eat the mountains, we drink the sea. With change comes opportunity. In studying this memory of Aldrin Sov, a truer nature of the nightmares is revealed. They are born of darkness and drawn to it like moths to a flame. Callus is such a fire. Through the Leviathan, Callus's mind reaches down to the Lunar Pyramid, forging the connection that draws the nightmares to him. And should that connection be severed? We can stop Callus dead in his tracks before he causes any more damage. Your success with Crow isn't going to go unnoticed. Callus will push back. He may be doing so already. Recently I've been... 
visited in the helm and elsewhere by one of the nightmares heirs bound to the crown. We need to push harder. I will be accompanying your next severance mission to weaken Callus' connection to the pyramid. You and I will get this done. Go to the Leviathan and harvest the necessary essence of the nightmares. We must enact the next ritual of severance before it is too late. And Guardian, keep watch over Zavala. As with Crow, the commander may find confronting his past to be the most difficult mission he has ever faced. The second severance is at hand. We proceed as you wish, commander. But whatever you hear, you must press forward. Understood. Thank you, Eris. Set your amplifiers. Sever Callus's connection. And tread carefully. I see your new protégé, Zavala. I wonder, have you told them what became of the last warrior you dreamed? This construct is coded in the same spores found aboard the Glycom. Lycora says they could connect consciousness through the darkness. Is that so? Mechanical function is compromised, Guardian. It's harmless. Don't let him stall you. I wouldn't dream of it. It is a unique delight to feel the Leviathan's inhabitants wriggling through my innards. And when you do battle across my steely flesh, mm, an unmatched sensation. Caress every dark meat you can find in your futile journey. You will come to see things my way. You will lay down your arms and stay. On that night, I'll raise a chalice to your lips, and we will feast. Amplifier online. I'm detecting the commanders as well. As we learned with Crow, these devices will help. But our success hinges on resolving Zavala's inner demons. We cannot do this for him, but we can stand with him. Guardian, how can you trust Zavala when you keep secret the life he led before the city? I knew him before he was your commander, when he was young and boastful. We used to sit together, listening to the Sekiras. He listens to them sometimes, still. They remind me of what I lost. Focus, Zavala. I am. Why do you leave our names unspoken? Do the memories of the time pain you so much? Piety, come in. We are with you. There was... I was ambushed by scorn and... A horror I couldn't bring down. I, I couldn't reach you. He is shaken. Zavala, tell them you are afraid. Confide in them. Why hide your feelings? It doesn't matter how I feel. That is why you will fail. You put your duty before your heart. The phantoms trapped in this fetid hull sustain something that is growing. Zavala's nightmare is a part of it, but each amplifier further isolates her presence from Callus's hold. Stay with me a little longer. Life moved on around us, but we can wait here for a moment. You chose to move when you could have stayed. Safi, but don't. You have made your choice. Go 
Go on ahead, die. I'll find my own way. Final amplifier set. I must be seeing things. The scorn are wearing... <sighs> Impossible. The House of Devils is gone. Your eyes deceive you. Don't be fooled. You've reached the Severance site, Commander. The Guardian is closing on your position. The brave Zavala holds his offering in clenched fingers. Afraid to lose the pain he has kept close for so long. It's all I have left. You hoard our memory like a starving animal hoards bones. I'd call that reverence. I mourned. I begged for your forgiveness. What more can I do? Speak our names. Release us. Guardian. You said you mourned our death, Zavala. Stood at our grave, cried out in prayer to your traveler. For a long time. What good did it do? No ghosts found us. Instead, the Traveler gave the light to your enemies. It's not that simple. It is that simple. That abandoner deserves your duty more than me, more than our son. It is why you left us both to die alone. Don't... use him like that. I chose you. I tried to give it away. You killed him, as much as the Fallen did. You wove your gallantry into his bones. My son's killers should meet. She's slipping away from me! Strength, Zavala. See through your guilt. Blame. We cannot proceed until he finds forgiveness. Forgiveness? You share meals with fallen behind your walls after what they took. This new life dishonors your old one. It dishonors your son. Hakim. Your true family wouldn't torment you. This is your grief, Zavala. My husband is not a liar, and I am speaking his words. He knows what he is. A hollow man leading others to die. For a silent god. Enough. Guardian, bring the commander back before any more damage is done. Hello, man. Leading others to die. For a silent god. Is that what I've become? Have the years whittled away my nerve? I... was convinced that seeing her might make things easier. That her absence cuts deeper than her presence. But they are... equally sharp. Sophia. She wants me to speak her name. To confide my feelings in you. What good does it do? Go and see Eris. I'll tell her you're coming. She'll know what to say. Zavala will not speak to you of his regrets. 
But I will not let him bear them alone. Here, listen closely. Whispers and confessions as I have heard them. He would tell it differently. But memory clings so loosely to the truth. I will share what I know. Before the Vanguard, before the city, there was a woman. Her name was Sophia, and she was a surgeon. She came to Lord Saladin's gates, offering her skills in exchange for shelter. Zavala was his protege then. He had been taught his purpose, and he followed it without question. She maddened him. He infuriated her. But respect grew to admiration, and admiration to love. Does it surprise you that Zavala loved? She was meticulous and gentle, strong-willed, stubborn, fearless. It began with an infant orphaned in a fallen raid. Saladin had taught Zavala duty, war, and the light. But Sophia showed him that he was more than an instrument of violence. She had one life, and she would share it with him. They called the boy Hakim. And he called Zavala father. In his joy, Zavala thought to abandon the light, as he had abandoned Saladin's ways. That joy ended as it began, with their son. When Hakim followed his father into battle, Zavala could not protect him, and Sophia could not save him. Hakim died in his mother's arms, Zavala wanted her forgiveness, but she knew there was nothing to forgive. And that giving up the light... ...would be no absolution for him. They returned to the lives they once led. She found love again. She had a daughter. And when Sophia passed, he asked her to forgive him. Through each generation, he mourned. He asked for their forgiveness. And still, he has not found it. Zavala's wounds run deeper than he allows us to see. The lengths he has gone to cut himself off from his heart is... familiar. It is through accepting what we cannot change where we find the strength to move forward. We grieve, we move, and we grow. Zavala only knows grief. But perhaps there is hope in others, in the council of friends and family. There is no running from his truth any longer. The past is laid bare, and so too the commander's heart. Resume your patrols aboard the Leviathan Guardian, and I will see what can be done elsewhere. Hey, Commander. How are you holding up? I've been better. Sounds like you left. Yeah. Pretty tore up inside. Any little thing sets me off. Might have said some 
hurtful stuff to somebody who didn't deserve it. We've all been at our worst. When we're hurt, when we're afraid, we all fall apart. Feels like I'm held together by duct tape and spit lately. In the last few weeks have opened up some old, old wounds. Reminded me of important people I've lost. My wife, my son. Yeah, yeah, I know that kind of hurt. Other way around, though. I still think about my folks, but I, uh, I can't really remember their voices anymore. I can't remember Hakeem's voice either. I try. I try so hard. You want to tell me about him? Your wife? Someday. Not today. Not yet. Want some company down in your office anyway? We don't have to talk. Maybe we just sit. I'd like that. Thank you, Amanda. Ain't nothing. It's what family does. We begin again. With fresh eyes and open hearts. I believe the commander has found the strength he needs. So too must we marshal ourselves for the task ahead. For there is more at stake here. As time progresses, Callus's hold on the Lunar Pyramid grows in strength. For each connection we have severed, the remaining grows stronger. The nightmares only increase in number, and soon I fear they will overflow from the Leviathan and spread across the system. Zavala is ready to face his past again. Collect the necessary reagents for the next ritual, and join him on the Leviathan. We cannot afford to fail again. Eris, what happens to her if we succeed? That is unclear. I'm sorry. My love is still afraid to let me go. The Traveler called you all from your graves to be broken over and over again. An endless sacrifice. But that is not my purpose. Let me rest. Strange. As the Underbelly succumbs to this transformation, it has begun to elicit a constant subsonic frequency. Callus doing this to the ship? The pyramid, yes. It is breaking the Leviathan's bones to reset them elsewhere. So he is not so different from your god. From the god of our son's murderers. The Traveler is not my god! It is said broken bones heal stronger than before. But this is a lie. They are forever broken. Was Hakim's death a breakage to reset you under the Traveler's watch? Am I the weakness you carry forever? Zavala sees Hakim's face in his phantom. And in you, Guardian. I want to see him. I, I close my eyes, but they're only flashes. I try to remember him exactly as he was. I try. I see his face too. Anemic and choked. Fear and pain I cannot stop. Then nothing. And I am alone. Forgive me. To continue chasing pain when you could slumber in euphoria everlasting. That is a foolish endeavor, Guardian. Think of your commander. He mourns this woman you seek to exploit against me. Bring him. I will shower him with my blessings, give him the power to see his love return. He may keep her as long as he wishes, for I am benevolent, and that is only a taste of my generosity. 
A taste that extends to you as well. Eternity is what I offer. Consideration is all I ask. This frequency you isolated, it's almost like a voice muddled in the dissonant churn between Pyramid and Leviathan. It's resonating through Phantom and Nightmare alike, manipulating their psychic connection to the darkness. It must end. We can remember why we lived our life without hating why we lost it. I hate my son's murderers. The god they followed. That it has taken you too. That's not fair. Live with your decisions. That and duty are all you have to hold close. I'll set this amplifier, Guardian, and meet you ahead. All amplifiers broadcasting. Isolation complete. Now there's only the severance. Zavala is ready, Guardian. See to your side of things, and we will prevail. I've reached the site, preparing the harvester. This mission won't bring you the peace you desire. Your devotion to the Traveler rewards you only with war and death. Never peace. I'm not doing this for the Traveler. I'm doing it for you. Your hands are pressed against a wound to staunch bleeding. It spills through your fingers. You are soaked in it. I knew when to let go. When to wash the blood from my hands. Do you? Guardian. How many pawns has the Traveler sacrificed to conscript Commander Zavala into its service? When it leaves you too, will you become like the Fallen? Guardians stand for more than the Traveler. We make our own feet. I wish I could step back into that life. Or that you could step into mine. What would I do with this broken man you've become? You teach me to heal again. We'd watch our scars fade together. Safi? I... There's so much. The years have made apologies lose their meaning. But I am sorry. You can only apologize for something that is your fault. Hakim wouldn't want to see you mourn. He'd want his father to be proud of his courage, as I am proud of yours. Hakim should know his father feels nothing but pride. That's why I trusted him to protect you. You've given me a lot to consider about where I put my faith. Analyzing the whims of a silent god? You'll mold those thoughts over into dust. There's not always an answer. Let go and rest. Yesterday I was too tired to rest. Today, Safi, Hakim, I'll find you in my dreams. I'm glad it was you standing with me. Zavala should be commended. It is not easy to forgive one's own regrets. Another thread frays between Pyramid and Leviathan, Guardian. And yet I feel the next will test us most of all. When 
I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakim. I can accept that now. But back then... Guilt, like gravity, warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me. And everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it. Our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity. Without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means, when is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go. It is done. Another of Callus's connections to the Lunar Pyramid is severed. We are poised to strike the final blow. And yet, I find myself unable to enjoy this success. It has come too easily. Only one connection remains to the Lunar Pyramid, and Callus has barely reacted. There is a piece of his agenda that we cannot yet see. I know it. To be this close and still feel as though it is but a mirage is infuriating. I will find the answer to our final severance. For now, continue your exploration of the Leviathan. Any piece of information, no matter how small, could change everything. Conquering one's demons is a noble task. There are many stories of Cabal heroes who did the same. Now, they live forever as legends. I don't want to be a legend, Colonel. Too late. Even we have stories about the great Commander Zavala. Only we do not call him that. Did you need something else? This is not a formal communication. This is a private reckoning, one warrior to another. I see. I fought countless battles where my life was on the line, won and lost them. Nothing like this. Never is hard. Huh. As I told your crow once, battles fought in the theater of the mind and heart are just as brutal as ones fought with flesh and bone. We all bear our scars, victories, defeats, some openly with pride, some others hidden away beneath layers of shameful armor. This battle was the most honest of your risen life. You won. I don't feel like I've won any battles. I just feel tired and old. And yet, you still stand. The Leviathan's corruption spreads like a plague. Even as we succeed, Callus's influence strengthens. I had thought his presence at the moon was fascination. He has always been an explorer of the unknown. A researcher of malign intent, but boundless curiosity. But this... 
This feels different. If Callus's experiments in communing with the darkness aboard the Glycon was a theory, what we see here and aboard the Leviathan is that theory put into practice. Keitel has observed Crow and Zavala's successes from afar. She wishes to help us sever Callus's connection to the Pyramid by confronting the nightmare of Dominus Gaul. He haunts her relentlessly, as Aldrin haunted Crow, as Sophia haunted Zavala. But Keitel was not bound with us. There is no certainty a ritual would succeed. I have advised her to remain aboard her flagship for now. In the meantime, we continue our preparations while I look for another solution. I will contact you soon. Attention, Vanguard. I have been patient. I have listened to your warnings and kept my landing parties from raiding the Leviathan. But still, Callus eludes your guardians, and the Nightmare of Gaul continues to hang over my head. My patience has its limits. Gaul is the last, our only remaining opposition. Then Callus cannot hide. Your ritual only requires I defeat the Dominus's nightmare. So be it. Do not interfere, Guardian. I am Cabal, and this conquest is mine to claim. There must be a proving, an acceptance from the old ways. So, as a gladiator entering an arena, I issue my challenge. Dominus, are you listening? I aim to finish what we began all those years ago. You won't stop me. Gaul, I challenge you. In the depths of my father's tomb, we do battle. Eris, have you pinpointed Keitel's position? No. But I have inserted the Guardian near her drop pod's breach point. We will find her. I'll keep you informed of the situation as it develops. Move quickly. She may be in danger. What are you doing, Guardian? This conquest is mine. Fight Callus's loyalists alongside my soldiers if you must. But do not assist me. Tell me the man God doesn't hold your reins, Keitel. Without the bindings, you are vulnerable. At least wait for the Guardian. Do you hear that doubt? She disrespects you. They all do. My throne cannot be challenged by what we were, or what others want us to be. There is one cabal. All others will submit or fall. I'm ready for you. Keitel was not bound with us. Amplifiers may not help her. Our time is better served making sure she isn't killed. A hammer of proving, commemorating Gauls joining the Red Legion. Your Gaul is a monster, but mine is legend. A pit fighter who climbed the Red Legion, then led an armada to shatter the last city. Proof that fate could be defied and brought to submit. I thought I could do that. But you didn't. You brought words instead of fire. I was taught to hone my mind. But Gaul taught you your mind was a weapon. Try. Draw. 
that is vengeance. As I ascend to peace, but still enjoyable to look down on. <laughs> Your mission hangs in the balance. Kaito getting away from you. Fly. I wish to watch the change. I thought I'd beaten Talus as soft as for you. My shield held the line as our people evacuated Toro Bottle. My shield! You retreated. Death before dishonor, Keitel. You used to know that. Turbine's halting. The Severance site is not far, and now the way is open. Go. Cabal pride be damned. The light spawn ignores your commands. They have forgotten Cabal dominance. You are mine, Dominus. But if they wish to see you beaten, I won't deny them. Bring the Guardian, then. I will gladly remind them what fear feels like. Get on with it! In my youth, I watched you cut your way to the top of the fighting pits, like a bloodied idol. I thought you were magnificent. What did you learn watching me rise? Tenacity. Ruthlessness. Guile. The same crude tools the Hive brought to our home. Tools you cast away when desperation drove you to beg. You grovel to our enemies for protection. Like Callus' gorged aristocrats when the crew crashed on their doors. Your way proved inadequate to save our people. How can you not see that? I see our home burning under your banner. Weakness runs in your blood. I will show you myself. of Torbottle. Your lessons with her. Then that is where she will stay. Kaido, without the binding ritual, it is as I feared. We must abandon this. I don't need a hive-tainted witch to explain my failure. Then I won't.
corruption of the worm clings to your boot. This nightmare is quelled. Buried in the screams of its death throes lies a call to the pyramid. Callus must have used the relic in this place as a focusing point in lieu of the connections we've severed to the Pyramid Guardian. Callus' loyalists. Egregore spores line their esophagus. They are freshly dead. Empty. I see now. Their lives were forfeit, spent as a cost to ferry Callus' mind across a vast distance and hasten ingress to the pyramid. Our foe is desperate. But that means our plan is working. I must speak with Keitel. Return to me. Callus knew exactly what he was doing, goading his daughter into striking out on her own, manipulating her. But there is a silver lining to this cloud, the information you retrieved on the moon has proven to be the final piece of Callus' puzzle. It is no mere curiosity that drew him to the lunar pyramid. He is a consciousness that spreads out like a vascular system. And he is attempting to become one with the pyramid, so that he may control it. So that he may wield its power. Worse. It appears as though Callus is not doing so of his own volition. He is doing it at the behest of another. Our true enemy. The voice in the darkness. The witness. You must return to the Leviathan Guardian. Continue your work there while I prepare a ritual to add the Empress to our bond. of a hive-tainted witch. Do you revel in your foresight? Do you delight in witnessing my shame? I offered you my support. That offer remains. Know that this failure does not define you, Kaido. You will address me as Empress. You are not a crown. You do this for yourself, not for the Cabal. I am the Cabal. No, you are a woman with a burden. As I was. There can be no such distinction. Torobotl lies in ashes. From my ranks rise traitors and spies. My incompetence threatens the future of my people. There is no quarter for failure. You speak Gaul's words. They erode the truth. What is your nightmare? An expectation you must shed like dead skin. What will remain when you do so? I... I do not know. Then you must look past your shame and say, I am more. Very well. Prepare your ritual. It awaits. We stand at the precipice of victory. There is but one final link that remains between Callus and the Pyramid, and we are ready to strike at it. Keitel has been brought into our ritual bond. She is now prepared to confront the Nightmare of Gaul and undo her father's work. However, by my estimates, Callus has already infiltrated the paracausal matrix of the Lunar Pyramid. The dark below groans and churns with excitement at this revelation, Emanations from the Lunar Pyramid whisper a singular psychic demand to all who can perceive it. Rejoice. Callus is overconfident, and we must take advantage. Go, return to the Leviathan and prepare. Kaidal will arrive shortly. 
drop pod breach successful. The ship has turned. Rancid. The Leviathan's transformation is a spreading miasma. When we stop here. Take the engines, Guardian. I ascend another path, but I will see this through with you. Come to challenge me again. The beaten always do. We lived at the Cabal from Callus's stagnation. No one meet keepers this a world lost, not Alec. They speak of what once was, and no longer of what could be. Is this the new Cabal, Big Vision? We've built human scribes conjuring purpose for us. Futures that never came to pass. Theirs is the buzzing of insects caught in turbulent winds. When the wind shifts, so will they. Interference has returned, more complex than before. Something language adjacent, but familiar. A translation of a translation. Your edge alignment was poor. <clears throat> Guardian! Kaido, dispatch this light storm and send its head back to the city. Silence! You are a weak imitation of the goal I knew. I am limited only by your weak imagination. I will find you at the end. You stand with the Traveler's Puppet against me? You have grown fat from weakness, drunk on their patronage! You demanded I rule in your shadow. With the Vanguard, I stand equal. The Cabal stand equal. The Interference is a voice. I've heard it whispered through the Tree of Silver Wings on Io and beneath the ice of Europa. But it does not speak to us. This connection must be severed. Fan turbines offline. The final severance awaits. With Kaido bound to the crown. Together, we cannot fail. They are using the Cabal. Using you. The Empire's cattle flesh between the city and their enemies. They will let every last one of us die to save themselves. They have proven otherwise. I do not fear our enemies. The light is at our back, and we are the Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the seas. Let them come. Get on with it. Ah. You were never able to 
best me, Keifel. That's why I left you to hold my throne. I was fighting with weapons you gave me. Now, I wield my own. image. It does not require your approval. I see, Kaidal. I see a new Cabal pulled from the jaws of extinction. You have surpassed me. I attempted to subdue the light and burn for it. But you... You wield it on your war council. What conquest is more deserving? You still don't understand. It wasn't conquest. It was compromise. An act your traditions never would have allowed. You have finally grown beyond the prescriptions of your idols. Despite my legend, call his flesh. His words are only words, like yours. There is a difference. Mine are better. Was that it, then? If dead men and sanctimony are all Callus has to threaten me, he might as well turn the Leviathan around and run. It is strange what we are to those around us and what we are not. Adominus was a hero to my people, self-made and defiant. He inspired many, but the Leviathan's trickeries allowed me to see Gaul as the Vanguard did. Dangerous, relentless, cruel. Those were qualities I embodied to survive Callus's interpretation of fatherhood. They kindled in me a stifling reliance on self, on action, and nothing else. Most of all, Cabal wished to be seen, our conquests recognized and ratified by the shockwaves they send through the Empire. The impact we leave. But an endless war in pursuit of glory leaves only ashes. When I am gone, it won't be the impact of my conquests that shape the Empire. Instead, it will be the quiet of peace in the company of allies. Well fought, Guardian. Victory sits before us, and yet it feels strangely hollow. We have severed what should be the final connection to the pyramid, and yet there is no reaction. 
reaction from the Leviathan, no reaction from Callus, and the Lunar Pyramid's psychic emanations are quiet. I cannot help but feel as though we have not weathered the storm, but merely stepped into its eye. The nightmares contained within the Crown of Sorrow are seething. Something is coming, Guardian, and we are not prepared. I would ask that you return to the Leviathan, continue to imprison the nightmares aboard it, while I attempt to ascertain what has changed. Heading to... Oh! Ah! Oh! Crow? 
Crow, report. Eris, can you reach him? I'm already on my way. Good. Stick to the plan. Find Callus and... Ah! are not with you then we do this alone Just a chance to be a hero one last time. I have raised Tell the us. shield. Pull back. This is going to hurt a lot. Where is Callus? Dead. He has given himself over to the witness. My father... is gone. This was Callus's plan from the beginning. 
luring guardians to his side with promises of riches and lavishing them with praise, only to slaughter all of humanity at the behest of a voice whispering to him in the dark. Callus may be gone, but the Leviathan remains, and it will take months to clear out the remaining nightmares and assure it is no longer a threat. But even those efforts may be for naught. We have reached the point of no return. The witness is near. It is the beginning of the end. I received your last message. Whatever reckless plan brings you to the Reef need not be shared with the Vanguard or the Guardian. But keep me informed at the very least. Those haunted here have found a measure of peace. But it takes more than resolve to overcome one's regrets. We have both felt it. Our moment of pain can weave into the whole of our lives. How it binds us to patterns of thought action. I have stared into the eyes of my pain made manifest, pleaded with it, raged at it. What face would your nightmare wear? For so long I believed peace was beyond my reach. No more. I have found it in guiding others down the same path that saved me. But I might allow myself to want more than peace. What? I am not certain. Is joy the word? Might I find that again? You told me to live my life. There is more truth in you than either of us would care to admit. I have something that will be of interest to you. The Lunar Pyramid remains rife with secrets. Meet with me, and we will discuss what I have found. Take care, Rat. <laughs>